A germicidal lamp is a special type of lamp which produces ultraviolet UVC light. This short-wave ultraviolet light disrupts DNA base pairing causing formation of pyrimidine dimers and leads to the inactivation of bacteria, viruses, and protozoa. It can also be used to produce ozone for water disinfection. There are three common types available. Low-pressure lamps High-pressure lamps LEDs <laughs> Low-pressure lamps Low pressure lamps are very similar to a fluorescent lamp with a wavelength of 253.7 nanometers, 1182.5 terahertz. The most common form of germicidal lamp looks similar to an ordinary fluorescent lamp but the tube contains no fluorescent phosphor. In addition, rather than being made of ordinary baurosilicate glass, the tube is made of fused quartz. These two changes combine to allow the 253.7 nm ultraviolet light produced by the mercury arc to pass out of the lamp unmodified whereas, in common fluorescent lamps, it causes the phosphor to fluoresce, producing visible light. Germicidal lamps still produce a small amount of visible light due to other mercury radiation bands. An older design looks like an incandescent lamp but with the envelope containing a few droplets of mercury. In this design, the incandescent filament heats the mercury, producing a vapor which eventually allows an arc to be struck, short-circuiting the incandescent filament. At the last two decades the rapid development is acquired so-called eczema lamps having a number of advantages over the other sources of ultraviolet and even vacuum ultraviolet radiation. <laughs> <laughs> High-pressure lamps High-pressure lamps are much more similar to HID lamps than fluorescent lamps. These lamps radiate a broadband UVC radiation, rather than a single line. They are widely used in industrial water treatment, because they are very intense radiation sources. They are as efficient as low-pressure lamps. High-pressure lamps produce very bright bluish-white light. <laughs> Light-emitting diodes LEDs. Recent developments in LED technology have led to the commercial availability of UVC LED sources. UVC LEDs use semiconductor materials to produce light in a solid state device. The wavelength of emission is tunable by adjusting the chemistry of the semiconductor material, giving a selectivity to the emission profile of the LED across, and beyond, the germicidal wavelength band. Advances in understanding and synthesis of the Algen materials system led to significant increases in the output power, device lifetime, and efficiency of UVC LEDs in the early 2010s. Auxiliary <inaudible> equipment <inaudible> 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 As with all gas discharge lamps, all of the styles of germicidal lamps exhibit negative resistance and require the use of an external ballast to regulate the current flow through them. The older lamps that resembled an incandescent lamp were often operated in series with an ordinary 40W incandescent appliance lamp. The incandescent lamp acted as the ballast for the germicidal lamp. topic uses Germicidal lamps are used to sterilize workspaces and tools used in biology laboratories and medical facilities If the quartz envelope transmits wavelengths shorter than 253.7 nanometers they can also be used wherever ozone is desired for example in the sanitizing systems of hot tubs and aquariums 
They are also used by geologists to provoke fluorescence in mineral samples, aiding in their identification. In this application, the light produced by the lamp is usually filtered to remove as much visible light as possible, leaving just the UV light. Germicidal lamps are also used in wastewater treatment in order to kill microorganisms. The light produced by germicidal lamps is also used to erase EPROMs. The ultraviolet photons are sufficiently energetic to allow the electrons trapped on the transistor's floating gates to tunnel through the gate insulation, eventually removing the stored charge that represents binary ones and zeros. Topic: <laughs> Ozone production. For most purposes, ozone production would be a detrimental side effect of lamp operation. To prevent this, most germicidal lamps are treated to absorb the 185 nanometers mercury emission line, which is the longest wavelength of mercury light which will ionize oxygen. In some cases, such as water sanitization, ozone production is precisely the point. This requires specialized lamps which do not have the surface treatment. <laughs> Safety concerns Short-wave UV light is harmful to humans. In addition to causing sunburn and over time skin cancer, this light can produce extremely painful inflammation of the cornea of the eye, which may lead to temporary or permanent vision impairment. It can also damage the retina of the eye. For this reason, the light produced by a germicidal lamp must be carefully shielded against direct viewing, while reflections and dispersed light is not an issue. A February 2017 risk analysis of UVC lights concluded that ultraviolet light from these lamps can cause skin and eye problems. Topic: See also List of cleaning products. <laughs>